crisis in Ireland, but there are 300,000 empty homes. The reason we have a crisis is because our landlords and our speculators have boarded up those houses and are leaving them deliberately vacant in order to artificially inflate, inflate rents and push up mortgage prices. We would have no bother housing not only the 4,000 refugees we are accepting, but every single person in Ireland who lives in substandard accommodation if we force the landlords to open up those houses and make them available for use. Irish people are no strangers to migration. For every generation, tens of thousands of us have migrated mostly for work all over the world. But in our history, we also had a massive refugee crisis in the 1840s uh, in what is called the Irish famine. Not really a famine because there was food here, but it was being exported to pay for rents. In the period of the famine, something like one and a half million people died in Ireland and another one and a half million people had to emigrate. These people were subjected to exactly the sort of racist fear-mongering that we're seeing directed at Syrian refugees at the moment. Particularly in the US, there was a fear that the arriving Irish were, uh, were religious violent extremists who would impose their religion on the country and, and switch the US from being a mostly Protestant country to a mostly Catholic country. One of the sad things about the crisis today is seeing Irish people whose, whose ancestors survived this famine actually repeating the same sort of racist garbage that was directed at their ancestors. On the other hand, huge numbers of Irish people have spontaneously organised to help refugees arriving here and also to organise convoys to the places in Europe where refugees are being gathered into camps, particularly at Calais. At this stage, there are dozens and dozens of people intending to go to such destinations. One thing we've noticed here at Solidarity Times is that the people make, doing this organising are the very same people who previously have been organising for homeless people here, for single parents, against Shell at Rossport. This gives us confidence for the future. It gives us great confidence that we will recognise that we are not an isolated country, that the problems we face are, are global. Climate change, for instance, does not stop at borders. It needs a global solution. We are all the same people. We must come together.